So let's, might as well go and finish this one. So the first thing, guys, we can think about this is let's actually just focus on the angle. I saw a student ask a question. I kind of like, you know what, that's actually good. Because if anything, if you don't know where negative pi over 3 is and what that coordinate point is on the unit circle, well, you're definitely not going to figure this out. So we should know where negative pi over 3 is. And we should know that coordinate point on the unit circle. If we know pi over 3, which is up here, the angle of pi over 3 is going to be 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. So negative pi over 3 is just a reflection about the x-axis, meaning the y-coordinate is just going to be negative. So this coordinate is going to be still 1 half, but now it's going to be negative square root of 3 over 2. Now what I told you guys to do, and you don't have to do it this way. If you start noticing patterns and want to do it quicker, that's fine. But if I want to convert this point to rectangular form, all I'm really doing is taking negative 2 times the cosine of negative pi over 3, comma, negative 2 times the sine of negative pi over 3. And that's kind of nice, I guess, um, or at least knowing this point is, because we can evaluate now the cosine and the sine very easily for negative pi over 3, because we've identified the point, right? So this coordinate point is negative 2 times 1 half, comma, negative 2 times negative square root of 3 over 2. And therefore, I'm getting a point of negative 1. And I'm getting a point of positive square root of 3. Yes? OK. So if we look at this point, negative 1 square root of 3, which quadrant is that in? X coordinate. Remember, this is, an X, this is a rectangular coordinate. So the x coordinate's negative, y coordinate's positive. That means it has to be somewhere over here, right? So we're at negative 2. So. Second radius. Oh, we're at first radius. Wait. That's a rectangle coordinate. Yeah, so it's at negative 1, and then it's a little bit higher. So here's my coordinate point. Now, again, it's very important to see that it's like a reflection about the origin, right? So again, could we find multiple angles for this? Yes, you could. Like, what's another angle to represent um, like this coordinate, negative 2? Could we just find? Another angle for negative pi over 3? Yeah, we could also do negative 2. Again, this is the point on the unit circle, so we're really down here. Um, we could do negative, instead of doing negative pi over 3, we could go in a uh, positive direction, and that would give us 5 pi over 3. But again, that's taking us to here, but that negative, actually, what's happening is that's reverting the angle up here. So actually, the points that we want to find for a positive radius are going to be up here. right? If we want to keep the radius positive, we need to find the angles up here. And so if here's my reference angle, if my, reference, if my angle is negative pi over 3, the reference angle is pi over 3. That means this reference angle is pi over 3. So with a positive radius, we want to find this coordinate point. So we could say um, 2, 2 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3. Or we could go in this direction, which would be 4 pi over 3. And that's just three extra points. On a multiple choice question, I might give you four of them and say, which one does not belong? right? And you have to figure out which one then is not correct. Hint, hint, wink, wink. All right, um, to, uh, as I mentioned,